In this video, I will demonstrate how to create an ePlan project. For this, we will go to the project menu on the menu bar and then click uh, new. Now we have to specify the project name. We will put it as training for this time. And then we have to select the uh, storage location where we want to save this project. And then we have to select the template of the project. Uh, for this, we have uh, standard uh, templates already um, created by ePlan. And we have also user-defined uh, templates. So we will select NFPA TP1001 as a standard uh, template to, cre to uh, create our project. And here we, we can uh, specify the creation date and uh, specify the name of the creator, and we can select or deselect as you like. And now we simply click OK. Project is being created. And finally, the project is successfully created. Now we have to specify some uh, properties. Uh, for example, the client details, the creator details, the creator contact information. For example, here we will uh, change the creator name to Automation Designer Group. You can also change the title, for example, Engineer. We have also the address of the creator, telephone number, all the contact information. And now we have uh, to specify the structuring rule of our project from the structure tab over there. Based on our experience, we found that the, the best uh, structuring rule is um, based on the higher level function and the mounting location because we already entered this information to the uh, project, uh, like the previous video. So we will select higher, uh, higher level function and mounting location and we'll simply click OK. And now the project is created successfully. Now we can create the pages one by one. Thank you. In this video, I will show you how to create a new page uh, in our ePlan project. Uh, for this, we will go to the project itself and right click, and then we will select new. We have to specify the full page name. Actually, it is constructed of two, par of two parts mainly. The first part is the higher level function, which is the whole system. For example, we will call it here as AD. And the next part is the mounting location, which is the name of the control panel. Our system might contain more than one control panel. So we will call this uh, control panel as, as SP01. Hence, this page is assigned to control panel SP01. And then we will put the page name and then we'll click OK. Now we have the full page name as shown. The next part is to uh, select the page type. For creating a plan project for control panels, we are most likely uh, interested in three page types. The first one is the graphic uh, page type, which uh, contains only graphical objects uh, objects and without any connections to uh, other ePlan pages. And the next one is the overview uh, page type, which uh, contains uh, the, the an, uh, overview of the uh, PLC card. Uh, for example, if we have a digital input module with 32 um, channels, uh, we have we can see there the connections uh, from the from the module to um, to the terminals and to uh, the other A-plan pages. And finally, we have the schematic multi-line page type, which uh, describes the electrical diagram, circuit diagram of uh, the components. 
And for the page description, we can also uh, type uh, the description of the page. For example, we will put it as training uh, here in our case. And next, we have to specify the property properties of this page. Uh, we are not interested in the form name. Uh, we uh, will just uh, change the plot frame name, which is the layout of the page. Uh, we will select a user-defined um, plot frame which is a further bond model like this and then finally click OK and now we have the page is created in our project thank you